Hi everybody, this is Greg with Age Verify, and in this video I'm going to walk you through adding in our Age Verify code into a 3D cart website. So to begin with here, in my browser I have two tabs open. The first tab you likely recognize is the 3D cart dashboard, and the second tab we're going to need is Age Verify, and you can get there by going to ageverify.co or ageverify.com. And we'll need to access the Age Verify website later on in this video so we can get our code uh, that we will then paste into our 3D cart dashboard here for our age verification prompt. So to begin with, from your 3D cart dashboard on the left hand side here we have a variety of menu options and you want to go down here until you locate the content menu. Here it is, content. Once you find that go ahead and click on it and it'll expand a sub menu here. And within the sub menu we have this third option here listed. It says header and footer. So we're going to go ahead and click on header and footer next. And within the header and footer, now we've got an entire new panel here on the right. Now uh, the first thing we want to do is toggle, ta toggle the global header on. So if yours isn't green, you just click this once and it'll turn it green, which means it's on and enabled. And the next thing we want to do over here we, in this uh, WYSIWYG toolbar here, we want to disable this. We want to really turn it to a true code editor. So if we go all the way over here to the right, you'll see we have this little bracket of code here. And it's, if you hover over it, it turns green. We're going to click on that. And that's going to disable the WYSIWYG toolbar, and it's going to turn it just a true, into a true code editor. So this is where we're actually going to paste our age verify code. So to get our age verify code, let's go to the age verify website. And from the age verify website, you can click on the get started link at the top. And this is going to bring up our uh, template pages. There's a variety of templates we have to choose from. Uh, look through them and find one that fits your business. For the purpose of this video, we're going to use our translucent template, which is our most popular. We'll go ahead and click on learn more here. And within the translucent template, you can view some demos for date of birth input or age button prompt or some various information about that. And we have three tiers of service available. We have a basic version, which is free to use. It is ad supported. And you can see here in this preview window, there is an ad on the page. And this is similar to how it will look on your website. The pro version, uh, it uses the same templates as the free version, but uh, the biggest difference here is that the ads are removed. And then we also have a custom version, and with a custom instance, we'll take your branding, uh, your logo, your colors, uh, any custom item that you want, geolocation, foreign languages, etc., and we'll truly build it to suit your needs. But for this video, we're going to stick with the basic free version here. So I'm going to scroll down a little further, and I've got this link here that says click for instructions, so I will click on that. And that is going to bring us to our script configurator and installation instructions page. So to begin with here, select template background. We already selected translucent, but if you wanted to change it here, you could change it as well. And again, they're all listed here. You just have to know the name and select it, but we're going to leave it at translucent. And it says select your website platform. We are using 3D cart, so we're going to go ahead and click on 3D cart. And method format is next. Method format uh, is, is the type of format that you're going to use to prompt your age, your visitor to your website for their age. So an age button prompt is probably the most common and this is where we actually have buttons on the screen here. You can see that. Or you can do date of birth input and you can either do it in a month, day, year or a day, month, year format. Month, day, year is typically used in the United States. Day, month, year is typically used outside of the United States. And if you were to select one of these, you can see how that looks. And all this text that's on here is configurable later on uh, in the next section. But for now, we're going to stick with the age button prompt. So I'll go ahead and click on age button prompt. And here is that next section, the optional custom settings. So if we wanted to change the text, we could simply um, update it here. And you'll notice that when I, when I change the, te the text here, it updates in real time right over here in our preview window. Same with the button text. If I wanted to do that, it would update over here. You can see that. And once you get that set how you want it, you can change your underage redirect location. By default, we have it going to age verify. And this is the location where the users who select that they are under the age or the exit button uh, end up at. So these are people that are not going to be coming to your website. And uh, once they click that, you can have them go anywhere. You can set it to Disney or Google or whatever it may be. But by default, we set it to age verify. And once you get all these options configured how you want them, uh, you'll scroll down here. and You've got part two of two. And what you want to do is you want to highlight this red code right here. You want to highlight it all, just use your mouse, click on it, highlight it all. And once you've got that highlighted, you can either right click it and choose copy, 
or if you're on a Mac, you can hit Command C, or on a Windows computer, you can hit Control C to copy that to your clipboard. And once that's copied, you're gonna go back up here to the top, you're gonna to go back to your 3D cart dashboard. And again, we've got our global header toggled on, we've got the code set so that we're not gonna see those toolbar options, and we've got our cursor blinking in here in the code editor. We're just gonna simply paste our code in there. You can see now we've got that entire length of code set in here in the global header. And now we'll just hit save. Takes a second, and there it goes. It is, it, even though you can't see this here, uh, the code has been added into your uh, 3D Cart website, and we can do a quick preview of the store. Right here on your 3D Cart website, you've got a button that says View Store. So if you click that, it's gonna open your store in a new tab. And there's my store. So you can see the age verification uh, overlay on top of the website. And uh, if I click on this, it'll go away and I can access the website as needed. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you run into any issues or have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. We try to respond to all emails within 24 hours. Thanks.